This is the first test of the uh, new board that uh, Pete, myself, etched and uh, populated the uh, receiver chain. I've got at the front here, I've got the uh, LT1253 preamp with uh, two pots to control the two op amps there. Got the bandpass filter, transformers, the first SA612, and uh, we've upgraded the uh, crystal filter to be a 12 megahertz crystal filter. And uh, as I was building and testing this, I noticed that I was getting a lot of distortion coming out of the uh, DLM386, and it turns out that we've got way too much gain. So I pulled out the preamp, the 3906. Uh, preamp here and I've just got it shorted directly to the preamp and I'm just going to do a test here to show how uh, strong that uh, uh, LM386 is uh, without the uh, preamp. So I've got the Park SIGGEN connected and it's generating an LO frequency and it's in um, offset mode it's uh, adding uh, 11996945 that's a BFO so it's uh, it's um, taking the BFO and adding that to uh, 3500 and creating the uh, the LO which is 19969.45 and it's uh, feeding the LO into the first uh, SA612 and it's taking the BFO and feeding that into the second uh, SA612 and I've got my SIG, SIG gen here and I've got it set up right now it's on 80 meters and it's generating a minus 107 dBm signal and uh, since it's a it's uh, like a CW it's a carrier it's generating and I'm in sideband I have to offset uh, my tuning here by a thousand hertz and I hear a thousand hertz coming out of the amplifier and that's minus 107 and I'm just gonna go ahead and play around with the gain here so I'm just turning down the gain turning up the gain So now I'm going to change this over to a minus 73 dBm signal. I'm generating a minus 73 dBm signal and uh, you could really hear it's distorted. So I'm just going to crank down the gain on the LM386. There, I've just cranked down the gain and I'm going to so there so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to crank it up there and then I'm going to turn down the RF gain I've just cranked down the RF gain, turning up the uh, AF gain. So you could hear I've got uh, plenty of room to play around with the volume of signals coming in, both from adjusting the RF gain and adjusting the AF gain on the LM386.